Welcome to Tactical Talk, this is Zan Khan. CPEC is an economic corridor comprising a collection of projects under construction uh, at a cost of $51 billion in Balochistan, Pakistan. Uh, but what advantages uh, is Balochistan getting out of these projects? To discuss this topic of advantages to Balochistan through CPEC, we have with us today uh, Sabina Siddiqui, uh, a lawyer, journalist and senior geopolitical commentator. Welcome to our show, Sabina Siddiqui. This is Zain Khan. It's a pleasure to have you on Tactical Talk. Thank you, Zain. Thank you for inviting me on your show. Sabina Siddiqui, does the CPEC project help develop Balochistan's remote areas? The CPEC uh, route, when it passes through these um, remote villages and uh, deserts of Balochistan, it, it like uh, imp there's something which we call the zone of influence. And that means that uh, these people, they, are, they have better health and educational facilities because they are closer to them because, because of the roads. And um, uh, this, this brings, around, uh, brings about major uplift in the whole population of those areas. Okay, let's get to the second question. Can Gavadar port change uh, the destiny of Balochistan? Well, uh, this whole project has uh, brought Balochistan on the international radar and uh, once the economic free zone is uh, initiated, uh, like it is going to be an international destination for the world, it will become relevant globally. And uh, the, the most interesting part for me is that it is becoming a part of the historical Silk Road. This is a historical event in itself. Uh, Sabina, would it be beneficial for the locals what are their objections? The, the local people actually uh, are not very educated and they were like brainwashed or misguided by their um, uh, local uh, landlords and um, they were told that the demographics of the province would be upset if there were an international project going on. Um, but now that uh, the project has uh, actually kicked in and there will be more employment uh, opportunities for the locals, the Baloch, and uh, there's a, there will be special job quotas for them as well. The whole Sardari system of uh, Balochistan is going to just uh, uh, end, and uh, this is going to really give the, uh, the, the Baloch uh, their rights, and uh, they are going to be uh, experiencing uh, an improved lifestyle, and I don't think they will have any objections after the effects of uh, CPAC start, you know, uh, showing uh, effect. Uh, what further steps should be taken to improve security conditions uh, in the province? Well, the security situation has been pretty bad in Balochistan and uh, because of the excellent work of the uh, uh, law enforcement agencies and um, the army, terrorism has gone down by about 90%. Uh, but the way to keep it uh, like uh, peaceful, the first of all, we have to seal the borders with Afghanistan. That is where that is from where the terrorists actually come in and they infiltrate and they do these terror attacks and go back or whatever. And uh, that has to be done. And then for a uh, long term strategy, as you would say, uh, the way we are pardoning the rebels, the uh, and uh, they are being reintegrated into society, that is something which must continue because that uh, really it's giving them a better, uh, a, one more chance at uh, being good citizens. That should be uh, continued and uh, I would say like the army has made a special force for uh, the security of CPAC. There should be special training for the police and they should be able to tackle terrorism better on their own instead of, you know, depending on the army. That would uh, improve uh, the overall uh, uh, security uh, uh, security uh, arrangements in the province. And um, Baloch moderate uh, people, you know, they should be encouraged uh, to, you know, like communicate to the uh, people at the grassroots level that um, uh, about progress and about uh, taking part in development and everything because um, the, the local Sardars had really uh, played uh, like a lot, they had created a lot of mess in the province for their own interests just to rule these people. So I mean for the long term security we have to keep the uh, locals engaged and we have to uh, keep on showing them how beneficial the project is going to be for their lives. Uh, can Gwadar uh, be developed as a tourist resort? 
Oh, Gwadar has all the potential to be um, developed as a tourist resort. It has lovely beaches, just like the Caribbean. And uh, the weather is very temperate. And um, right now, five-star hotels are being constructed. There's a brand new airport uh, going to be completed soon. Once that happens, uh, just because of all the magnitude of trade coming into this port, uh, many people might like to stop over and have uh, their vacation there. It will, it will ultimately be, be like Dubai or maybe better than Dubai. It doesn't have to be like Dubai. Uh, it definitely has um, a future as a, uh, as a transit and as a, a tourist destination. Okay, Sabina, last question. Would trade and employment opportunities improve uh, for Balochistan? Well, uh, seeing that uh, there are the, the highest amount of uh, CPAC uh, development uh, projects are in Balochistan, there are 16 of them, and that's the highest amount in any province. So I think one can visualize that uh, once these are uh, approaching completion, there will be a lot of international trade opportunities for the locals and uh, they can learn new skills and because of the enhanced education facilities, uh, it, it would make them eligible for better jobs. They could learn the Chinese and English languages. That would improve their job project or prospect, prospects. So employment opportunities are definitely going to materialize. And uh, with a project like this and so much economic growth, the trickle down effect is uh, definitely going to happen. This is an ideal opportunity for Balochis to get employment in multinationals and so much foreign investment is coming in. There are so many foreign companies coming in. It's like a gold mine for the Balochis themselves, first of all. Thank you so much, Sabina Siddiqui, for being on Tactical Talk. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you so much, Dan, and it was uh, great uh, being on your show. Thank you. This was Sabina Siddiqui, a lawyer, journalist, and also a senior geopolitical commentator. We were discussing the topic of advantages to Balochistan through CPEC. Until the next episode of Tactical Talk, this is Zan Khan. Take care and good night.